What's up you guys? It's HTJ Halloween and today I'm going to show you guys my party setup for Halloween 2023. Is not, you know, it's not the old crib. It's not a haunted house, but it does have quite a lot to show y'all. Uh-oh, why is this not going up? Let's get this. There we go. Cuz this one had broke and we had to tape it on cuz it won't it won't lift up on its own for some reason but we don't want anybody going over there because emmeline is pretty dangerous as you guys know this is what she looks like from the side but i'll go ahead and show you guys her from people's point of view walking up to get in line yeah so she comes right out up to you eyes light up looks awesome we actually just set her up today so i hadn't seen her with the eyes on or uh in the dark enough to see him and I got the big box strobe light on her. I think I might turn up the speed a little bit on it. Let's see. I feel like that's probably good. Maybe a little bit faster. And I think that's going to be perfect once it gets dark. There is a street light that kind of ends up lighting up everything um, with some light pollution. So it's not that dark. But then we have the spider display here. I forget where this guy is from. I think he's from Lowe's or something. But we have a blow up spider that last year was just right here. We didn't have any of this going on. So we kind of stepped it up a bit, but this year we put him up on the roof and we have a whole spider, you know, theme going on here with all of the spider webs. And then this giant spider web, of course, coming down off the chimney. And then Emmeline's just kind of smacked in there. She doesn't necessarily make sense with the spider theme, but she's there. Um, I'll go ahead and go around this tape to show you guys. Yeah, she's crazy. It's crazy that she wasn't set up in stores, so I feel like most people didn't even really know what she did. When we went and bought her um, a while ago, the store employees like didn't even know what she did because they don't have her set up. So there's the spider. I have to move him a little more to the right. Um, and then this, unfortunately, got a lot of leaves in it, but there's the spider web detailing. This, I think, looks really good. I put some uh, limbs in here. This is one of the first parts of the display that I did a long time ago. Um, getting this to look like this spider has been uh, eating people. I was gonna say killing, but he's been also eating them. And um, he's got this dangling here with a foot. So I wish I still had the cocoon corpse. I threw him out because he was not working, but he actually would have been perfect there as just a little stationary, like um, cocooned, you know, accent right behind the foot or right next to it to the left. But unfortunately, I don't have it. So but you can see the vision if it was there the spider's eyes look really cool and the butt of the spider has like a little like um rotating light going on in there like a kaleidoscope looking light so that looks really good at night um let me get the jumping spider on for you guys so not only will people have emmeline jumping at them at the start of the line but then once they get up to here closer to the door the caution tape stops and we have jumping spider just giving them a little scare. I feel like people are always very scared of Jumping Spider because he's like so low that they just never even expect it. So he fits perfectly with all the little spider details that I have on the bushes and with the giant mama spider up there. So I love it. Right here we have the pumpkin display up by the window, um, which is blacked out just for the party. Um, I also put some of the flame lights behind the pumpkins. We didn't get a chance to carve them, but I feel like they look cool anyways. And also it's so hot here that uh, one of them already started rotting even without carving it. So if we would have carved them, they probably would have been really destroyed. It's been really hot. Um, I also got the rabid bunny from Spirit this year. I think it's new and he's eating the corn. He's holding on to some corn. And yeah, I got these pumpkins all in just a cute little display. And then to finish it off, we have the... Um, I forget his name, but the pumpkin boy from Spirit. And he looks perfect right here. He's going to be a great jump scare. He's so loud when the pumpkin shoots up. And it's going to be right next to people walking in. So it's definitely going to scare some people. I think he's probably the most likely to get some scares. Because he looks like he could just be, like, part of the design. So this is probably my favorite part right here. I really love the cohesiveness with the pumpkins i wish they were carved because if they were carved then it would kind of match his face but we're going to carve them for actual halloween day at least so <laughs> that's my roommate say hi to the channel <laughs> he said hi 
um, cemetery. So similar to Spirit Halloween's theme that they had Darling Dolly in in the store. So I kind of copied them, but I also made it all about Darling Dolly because I've got the two creepy dolls that kind of match her vibe um, with the cracked face and everything. I thought this was like so perfect. I bought both of these just for this because they just kind of look like it's like a haunted doll cemetery. And there's her. I had to put this in her hair because her hair comes in her face. It's kind of falling out though. I gotta do it once again. Her eyes are so blindingly bright that we actually probably aren't gonna have them on. I just turned them on for you guys. But see, even the camera like can't really see her face because they're really bright. They're, they're way brighter than even um, Emmeline's. They're just like blinding. So once it gets fully dark, we couldn't keep them on because they kind of make you unable to see anything else. And she's much creepier just kind of in the dark like that. So I'll give you guys a demo. She looks probably the most freaky of anything that they had this year for sure. And with her eyes off, honestly, it's a lot scarier because it just looks like some weird, creepy thing in the dark. So I'll take them off for you guys so I can show you. She's on sensor. Yeah. So she's super creepy just back there in the corner of the cemetery. And that is the whole look. We got the um, string lights up as well. And yeah. It all came together perfectly. And the people are gonna love it. The party goers are gonna love it because it's way more, it's way more than ever any party ever would have. So, <laughs> she is really freaky. So yeah, we just have her with a strobe, black light on the cemetery, and over here, she's got the red eyes and the giant strobe light on her, which I honestly think is perfect. I hadn't really seen it until now. It's getting darker, but it's gonna be amazing. Once it's really dark, I think it's gonna look crazy. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple things on the inside really quickly, cause I'm kind of running out of time, but this is the display that I'm gonna have. The couch will be here and it's just kind of like on the mantle and it's gonna be right above people's heads that are sitting on the couch. We do have this new zombie baby that I love who should be on, yep. And I got all those candles from Amazon. And yeah, she's just gonna be on sensor mode here. And it fits perfectly. She's got a little pumpkin as well to go along with all the other pumpkins. Some of these are real like this, and then this one's fake. So we got some real and plastic. And then it just fits right in with another pumpkin. And then we have from way back when, well this, we have a new zombie baby as well. We have the rat zombie baby and I put some rats around him as well. So he's got a whole rat theme going on, but unfortunately his eyes don't light up or anything. But then we've got the, I think, what is it? Daddy Teddy from all the way back in 2013, still fully kicking, works. I think maybe just doesn't move the knife or something, but everything else, no, it does move the knife. So that is the whole mantle display that, like I said before, will be right above the couch because we've got this big L-shaped couch. But right after I finish filming this, we're gonna go ahead and move the furniture out and just have the couch over there for the party. So yeah. And all those candles are so cool. I can turn them on with the remote, on and off. And um, they're fake, obviously, but they just have the perfect little accent to give it a little glow. On camera, it looks a lot darker in here. And then this is the bar area. This guy's from Party City last year. I think I actually did an unboxing on him and everything. Also got a flame light in the back. You can see that. And he's gonna be right up here on the bar scaring people um, as they get their drinks, so. Oh, I missed it. I gotta get it to go again. Here's, let's get it one more time. Yeah, that's crazy fast. And there's all the drinks right there. So that is it for my little tour here. I know it's not like 
it used to be back in the day, but you guys know that I am in college now, so um, things are a bit different, but at least this year, I have a house. And I think I showed you guys my display last year. I was in the same house as well. So now you guys have gotten to see two years of that uh, party display. And I'm happy with it. Obviously, it's on a smaller scale than I used to do um, on the channel, but it's definitely decked out for the space that we do have. So that is everything as a whole and a little bit darker now, so you can see. She is really spooky because you can barely even see her face um, without, those, without those eyes lighting up. It's just like super creepy, super creepy. Because you can see, not on camera, well, you can kind of tell on camera how creepy it is, but in person, it's just like super spooky and dark and you can barely make it out. Um, whereas with the eyes on, it's just too bright. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's super freaky looking with the strobe. So that is it, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. I'll probably hopefully post this around Halloween day because um, it's a couple days before right now. So you guys have an amazing night. Be safe, enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Stay spooky.